Hello everybody, it's AJ back again with Mighty Glue Stick, and today I'm going to be covering a really good ambush predator for Arctic environments, and uh, that is the Remores. So the Remores is, it's kind of a legacy monster that's been around since 1976. It was uh, first appeared in Dragon Number 2, and it's appeared in every other edition of the game. Um, all the way up to the 5th edition where it took pride of place in the monster manual. So it is a insect, um, but a, an exotic one in that it is gigantic. So it's uh, uh, 5 feet wide, at least 20 feet to 25 feet long, uh, taking the form of a centipede, uh, only with longer legs, and it's got a segmented, jagged, sort of heavily armoured body. Uh, with the lower segments of its body bearing legs, while the uppermost ones have webbed spines that look like a cobra's fan or wings uh, that, that fan out from it and aid in its ability to uh, quickly move um, and also puff up and, and look as intimidating as hell. So they protrude from the back um, and, uh, and span out like two segments. Uh, and they've got big red jewel-like eyes um, and these spines which run down the entire length of their body, which uh, tend to pulsate and glow with intense heat, like uh, like red iron um, that's just come out of the forge. Because these things have adapted to their um, arctic sort of terrain by being able to generate intense heat. And they do this mainly when uh, they're enraged and in combat as a defensive uh, measure, um, and where they radiate heat outwards. Um, so just to be clear, the, the heat isn't radiated inwards. They don't, they don't generate this heat inside the core of their body. Uh, this is a, a special technique they use for radiating heat outward. And it's mainly for, as I said, defense and also for shaping their environment so that they can quickly burrow through, uh, frozen ice. Um, so when this explains why if they swallow somebody, they're not also burned while they're inside. It's just acid damage that they take, not heat damage. Uh, because if they were that intensely hot on the inside of their body as well, they would also um, basically, they, they wouldn't be able to retain any sort of water and their biology just wouldn't work properly. So that's that's where I'm going with it. And that explains why you don't get cooked when you get swallowed by these things. Um, so they exclusively live in very cold environments because um, they are just too hot um, for other environments and it doesn't really make sense that they'd set everything on fire around them. Although they are uh, immune to um, fire and cold, That's uh, and they do have a pretty high armor class. Um, the adult Remoras has an armor class of 17 uh, of natural armor and 195 hit points. And their speed is 30 feet, and they can burrow at 20 feet. So they're quite fast. Uh, they've got a massive strength of 24, because they are huge creatures. And they've got a dexterity of 13. Constitution is 21. Intelligence is 4. Wisdom is 10. And Charisma is 5. So they've got a high wisdom score, which means that they can plan out an attack. Uh, they've got enough wherewithal to survive and hunt. Uh, they don't just react to any vibrations and things in the ground. Um, they can also plan and ambush. So their heated body, if you get within uh, within melee range of this thing, within five feet and um, close enough to attack it, anybody that hits it uh, takes 10 points of fire damage or 3d6 points of fire damage. Um, and... It's got um, a tremendous bite attack, so it's got a reach of 10 feet, uh, it's plus 11 to hit one target, does 40 points of piercing damage, plus 10 fire damage from the intense heat as you're getting close enough to its body, um, and if the target's a creature, it is grappled um, automatically with an escape DC of 17, and until the, until the grapple ends, it basically um, you're restrained. Uh, and it can't grapple another creature because it can only fit one person in its mouth at, this, at a time. It can then use a, an additional attack to chomp down on you again and swallow you. So it's a combination uh, bite attack, automatic bite attack, and also swallowing you at the same time. So you take the bite damage, that's another 40 points of piercing damage, uh, and if the attack um, hits... 
Oh, it's not automatic. Huh. There you go. I don't know why they'd have to make another attack roll against you if they've already got you grappled. But there you go. Hey, I learned something new. While swallowed, uh, the creature is blind and restrained, has total recovery against any other attacks and effects outside the remoras, obviously, and takes 21 points of acid damage at the start of each of the monster's turns. And if that target inside manages to inflict 30 points or more damage in a single turn, the uh, Remoras must save a DC 15 constitution saving throw, and bear in mind it's got a plus 5 to its constitution saving throw, um, or it will regurgitate and throw up and, and sick up the swallowed creature in a rather foul way. Uh, he'll fall prone in a space within 10 feet of the Remoras, probably in a pile of sticky acidic goo which they will roll out of patting at their uh, limbs i would say if it dies uh swallowed creatures aren't restrained anymore and they can escape by just crawling out of its gullet um it, they need to use 15 feet of movement which gives you some idea of how far you travel when you get swallowed by this thing um and you end up exiting prone out of its mouth so yeah they are um, they've got two listings here. One is for the adult one, which I just described, and the other one's for the young remoras, which uh, the main difference there is that they've only got an armor class of 14, uh, 93 hit points. They move at the same speed. Uh, they're not as strong, a little less intelligent, um, and but they've got the same sort of resistances and things, um, less damage on their attacks, and from they don't generate quite as much heat, but they're still just as deadly. So what these things do is they burrow around underneath the ice and snow and they form burrows and layers and things like that and glaciers and the side of mountains and uh, and frozen lakes and rivers and streams and things. And um, they can burrow up just underneath the surface and they they use tremor sense um, out to 60 feet um, and they can also get around seeing with their dark vision um, out to 60 feet as well passive perception of 10 and if they feel any vibrations coming over top of them they burst out and attack but what they can also do is form wafer thin layers of ice where you'd least expect them or hang out next to crevasses and things um, and make uh, the land around them into semi sort of impassable terrain which funnels travelers on foot into le um, snare traps and things like that, that they've well not snare pit traps that they've set up so they are cunning predators, and they will guide foot traffic um, to an optimal killing zone. And then they will just wait there, like a spider web of ice and snow. And uh, that's that's how they do their work. But they also know the optimal places where people just naturally funnel through um, cracks and rock walls and things like that to make from one side to the other. Um, they go through the center of ravines or whatever. And that's also where ice and snow forms up quite thickly, so they can conceal themselves and just wait. And then they can just see things coming. Um, and then they'll burst out and hit you with that really, really nasty bite attack. Um, yeah, plus 11 to hit and get swallowed. So that's that's what they do in and of themselves. They're really concerned only with breeding and feeding. They uh, lay eggs and uh, generate a few young, but not many. Um, most of them die out in the environment anyway, um, mainly through starvation. Uh, but the ones that do succeed and uh, are successful in the environment are the most cunning predators, the ones that can support their um, quite impressive metabolism to generate that much heat. And uh, that, that's the ones you really need to worry about. And they grow to quite large size very quickly. Um, they are famous and kind of synonymous with uh, frost giants who love these things as pets and hunting animals um, and if they're large enough uh, you could ride one too so what they do is they go hunting around um, looking for the eggs um, or hatchlings and they train the hatchlings all the way up to adult size so that they recognize the giant's commands um, remoras of course can't speak or have any language of their own but they can understand um, a giant's commands much like any other trained animal would and they make quite um, formidable pets and attack animals so it's not entirely unlikely that if you're in a giant's terrain um, it will have remores uh, stationed around the place it will be hunting with remores which it sticks on you like a pack of attack dogs which is a fairly terrifying prospect i'm not entirely sure they'd be able to get the remores to regurgitate you on command 
Um, but, you know, whatever. He doesn't have to feed it that day. So these are excellent beasts to throw against the party. Uh, you can pop them into any sort of icy terrain. Um, they're widespread. They've been around for a, a very long time, ever since the uh, the war between the giants and the dragons. Um, they may have been specifically bred for that. I don't know. It's up to you. And, yeah, excellent ambush predators. Uh, they're very scary. They do swallow people whole. Uh, it's not an entirely unlikely prospect that you're going to kill somebody in the party with one of these things. It's been known to happen. Um, yeah. And I guess you shouldn't really go easy because these things are predatory monsters that are trying to eat people. They can't be reasoned with or bargained with. Uh, the, the best thing you can do is wound one and send it on its merry way. Hopefully drive it off with lightning or acid attacks or something like that. But um, holding up some fire in front of it, it's not, <laughs> not going to do nothing, nothing at all. And uh, they like the gold. Thanks for listening, everybody. More again later.